In order to achieve a wildflower rich meadow that benefits insects and other wildlife, it is essential that you allow the meadow to flower and set seed over the summer period. Aim to cut and remove the season's growth from mid-July to the end of August. If cuttings are left, this can increase soil fertility, suppress new seedlings and favour more invasive weedy species, so removal is essential. If you can follow these three steps every year, you should see positive results. A drum mower is ideal for cutting larger meadows. Notice how drum mowers have blades that spin horizontally, unlike flail mowers, which spin vertically and chop up the vegetation into smaller pieces. Longer strands produced by a drum mower are far easier to rake and bale, so this is important for the next step. To produce hay, cuttings must be dried and turned in the meadow during a period of dry weather. This can take anywhere between three to five days in favourable conditions. After using a hay tedder to turn and dry your hay, the hay is now ready to be rowed up for the final stage, baling. Gathering the hay cut can be achieved quickly and efficiently by using a tractor and round baler. Hay bales should be collected as soon as possible. Leaving them on their side rather than upright makes them more rainproof. In standard hay baling, care must be taken to ensure that the material is sufficiently dry before baling, otherwise mould can develop which will make the hay less palatable for stock and high levels of moisture can lead to potentially dangerous levels of heat building up during storage. A moisture meter can be used to avoid this problem. For removal, bales can be lifted using a bale fork and positioned on a flatbed trailer. Once safely secured, the bales are ready for transportation off-site, ready to be used as winter feed for livestock. To control the second flush of grass growth in late summer, grazing with animals should ideally be introduced in the autumn. Grazing with livestock has the added benefit of treading wildflower seed into the soil while providing a valuable source of feed late in the year. If grazing is not practical, a second cut and removal would be the next option. For more information on conservation grazing, dealing with competitive grasses and invasive weeds, and how to enhance wildflower diversity in your meadow, see our meadows page.